Or maybe we should just do some math. Don't worry about walking like an Egyptian, unless you are one, which I know some of you are. So I guess you can just keep on walking. Old school song right there, old school song. Never heard it. Check it out. All right, so pyramids, pyramids. They are giving some of you issues. So let's try to help you out. Um, I've picked a somewhat difficult one or one that has tended to be difficult for you, uh, for many of you, because it's triangular pyramid. The base is a triangle. Now, as we know, all the faces on a pyramid are always triangles, as you see up here in this picture. But this one, the base is a triangle. So let's start off on this page. I think it only asked you to find the surface area, but we're also going to find the volume. Now, there's no reason to do some complicated formula. All you need is the area of the base plus the area of all the faces or the lateral faces. So let's just start off first of all with the base. The base is a triangle. How do we find the area of a triangle? Little b times h. That's the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle divided by 2. So forget about all this stuff up here. Just look at the base. The base of this triangle is 15 right there. So the base of the triangle on the base of the pyramid is 15. What's the height of the triangle? 13. That's what that little line right there is. That little right angle chair H looking thingy. It's laying down, so to speak. So they're saying that that's the height of the triangle. So it'd be 15 times 13 and then divide by 2. So that is what we will do for that part. So 15 times 13 and then divide by 2. So you're going to get 97.5 or 97 and a half. So that's the area of the base. Plus, um, now we want the area of all the faces. Well, let's just take one. Once again, triangle. How do we do that? Base times height divided by 2. So same concept. But we're going to take that answer and we're going to multiply it by 3. Why? Because there are three triangles. How do we know there's three triangles? Where you look at the base. The base has three sides. Therefore, there's a triangle coming up off of each edge of the base. So if the base has three sides, then that means there are three lateral faces. In this case, so we would say the base of the triangle right here. So let's just focus here. If that's 15, then all of them are 15 because this is a regular uh, pyramid. They told you that on the page. So 15 times the height of the triangle. In that case, it's 10. And then we divide by 2. It seems like after looking at a bunch of papers, um, this is the most common mistake. Triangles, people are forgetting to divide by 2. And then we take that, multiply by 3. So 15 times 10, 150, divided by 2 is 75. And 75 times 3, I believe, is 225. So now we will add those together. And we're going to come up with a final answer of 322.5. And it's inches. And since this is area, it's squared. So that's surface area. All right, surface area. Now, volume. Volume. Scroll down a little bit. The volume, uh, we're going to say, easy way to do it is just the area of the base times the height. And then we want a third of that. So we just take that and divide by three. Now, if we went already up here, we already found the area of the base. We just follow along. The area of the base was 97.5. So we don't need to calculate all that over again, assuming we're correct. So the base down here, just to double check, okay, is 15 
times 13 base times height divided by 2. So once again, we're going to find out the area of the base is 97.5. We double check. We confirm. There you go. So that's big B. Now, the height of the overall pyramid, the height of the overall pyramid. And as I look at this, um, kind of backfired on me my plan because they did not tell us the height of the overall pyramid. They did not do that. Um, so what we would do is we would find the height of the overall pyramid. They would give that to us. That's H. Then we take that final answer and divide by 3. And then that would be our final answer for volume. How do you know what the height of the pyramid is? They will typically do this in your textbook. They will draw a little H and they'll stop it. So it's almost like it's hanging in the air and it's just connected to the base down here. So that right there would be the height of the overall pyramid. Um, just from looking at this, since the slant height is 10, that means the height of the overall pyramid has to be something less than that. So maybe it's something like 8 inches or 9 inches, something less than the slant height. So there you go. Good luck.